the year 1887, Cecil John Rhodes told the House of, of Assembly in Cape Town, and I quote, the native is to be treated as a child and denied the franchise. We must adopt a system of despotism in our relations with the barbarians of South Africa, close quote. He also gave land for the building of the University of Cape Town. Today, students at UCT say his statue must be removed from the campus. My guests to discuss the Roads Must Fall campaign are DA Federal Chairperson Wilma James in Cape Town and City Press Editor at Large Monji Makanya. Wilma James, let me start with you. It's clear from the history books, and you've read many of them. Um, Cecil John Rhodes was racist, he was a white supremacist, he was a colonialist, he was everything that the new South Africa fought and won against. And yet you say the statue must not be removed. Why? Let's start off by saying that it's very important to decide what one's political project is. And the political project, in my view, um, is to build a strong democracy and to build an inclusive nation. And in that respect, I side entirely with Nelson Mandela, and I was part of that project in the 90s, where you want to repurpose existing statues and make them part of a larger, forward-looking vision in order to have a robust democracy and an inclusive nation. And so I think that it is quite important for the university to figure out, the university community to figure out what's the right thing to do. But if I would make a suggestion, I would say that you take the existing statues and expressions of heritage and you repurpose them by building new statues according to a vision that's forward-looking, that is inclusive. Cecil John Rhodes was a villain. He was a, he was a rogue of great proportions. Um, uh, but he did two things that would make one pause. The one is that he gave the land for the University of Cape Town uh, to be built. And secondly, he and subsequent generations built a, a, the Rhodes Trust, which funded generations of Rhodes scholars to study at Oxford. And more recently, what has happened is that the Rhodes, Mandela Rhodes Foundation uh, then uh, also established a trust that would allow students to study, South African students to study at African Wil universities. Wilma James, let me stop and you so there. I think You're saying because he did these two admittedly great things, we must look away from the evil and the pain that he has caused and that he represented. Oh, absolutely not. I think we must look the evil and the pain and his villainy straight in the face. And I think a statue would remind you of that fact. You can't obliterate the history. What you have to do is deal with the history. And I would say that, that the, the statue of Cecil John Rhodes is a, is a, is a reminder of the fact uh, that South African history went terribly wrong in terms of the racism and colonial project that he represented. Thank you. Represented. Let me ask Monty Makanya. But to say that you have to repurpose them. Let me ask Mr. Makanya here to come in. Monty, do you agree with uh, uh, Wilma James and, and, and the fact that he says our project was, is not to look backward um, and not to ignore history but to uh, build and reconcile and move forward. Well, as you pointed out, <coughs> history tells us something about Cecil John Rhodes. He believed that black people were savages. He killed thousands and thousands of black people in Zimbabwe and in South Africa. He raped, he pillaged, and he was an evil man. He was a bad person. Let's not take that away from him. Now, that statue is there, as, as all statues do, it is there to honor, to salute, and to exalt a human being. Here was this great person, and we are holding him up as an example. But the books, as you rightly say, show us all these things that he, that he did and said. So the, the history is not erased. The history is, is there, and we know it. So what's the point of We know that the, the history is there. We are, we are living in a country that, re that, is, that rejects what Sister jo Cecil John Rhodes did, and him op occupying that prominent space there, that's th that place of honor, we are saying, we are saying that we like what you did. If, if that was not the case, we would have kept Centurion as Fred Woodberg. The fact that one of the first acts that we took as a country was to actually remove the word Fred Woodberg was that we would disapprove of what Fred Wood stood for. And we, and we as a country disapprove of what um, Cecil John Rhodes did. Now this um, attempt 
at trying to mollify the people by saying that he also did good things. He, he left behind a legacy. He, was a, he educated a lot of people. He left institutions behind. He did those for white people because the savages, as, the, as, as, the, as your initial clip said, were to be treated as inferior and as, as children and, and as savages. It was not about black people. Now, I, what, what I believe should happen to the statue is that it should be removed from where it is. I do not believe that it should be destroyed. I mean, because now that is a destruction of history. Um, what I think should happen to the statue, that the statue should be taken away, um, as all apartheid statues sh should be, put in a theme park. We build a theme park that says to the people of South Africa, where it's almost a Jurassic Park, where you say, this, is, this was Cecil Ron Rose, this was Henry Fairwood, this was Louis Porter, and this is what they did. So that people yeah, remember. Let me ask Wilmot James to respond to that. Uh, Wilmot James, uh, you're listening to Mwendi Makanya. Um, after all, you don't go to Berlin and see statues of uh, Adolf Hitler in the streets. Isn't he correct? Let's look at um, another example, the Soviet Union. They pulled uh, the st statue of Lenin, who was the leader of the Russian Revolution, down. And if you go to Moscow, you'll find there, in fact, is a park uh, which is called a graveyard for statues. And you'll find all of Lenin's statues there and all of Stalin's statues there. So I, and I don't think that's a very good idea. I think you keep the statues where they are and you add statues. In the case of Cecil John Rose, I think he should be in perpetual conversation with Nelson Mandela. Uh, perhaps not in the same spot at the University of Cape Town, but certainly that is what I think is much better. I mean, that's my view. Mwendi uh, Makanya, perpetual conversation between Nelson Mandela and Cecil John Rose, is there a corollary there? Sorry, I didn't get um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, hearing. Oh, I see. Um, uh, um, Wilmot James is saying that, um, in fact, what he's proposing is a statue of Nelson Mandela, say, or someone else that also seeks to begin a conversation because between this terrible, terrible man and Nelson Mandela. Do you, do you agree with that? I think that is actually a huge insult to the memory of Nelson Mandela and what Nelson Mandela stood for, to say that he should be sharing a statue with an evil man. And I think that in any country in the world, that would, be, that would actually be, people would be out in the streets and frowning upon it. The fact that a senior member, a person who has actually held public office, can actually m make such a, a horrendous statement to say, let's put Nelson Mandela next to, to um, to Cecil John Rhodes is actually, I mean, like, I, I find no, it quite despicable. We've done it. We've said, no, yeah. don't bring down the Fort yeah. Laker mu Museum. Uh, yeah. um, we'll build Freedom Park. And we've, le we've left the Fort Laker Museum going. Yeah. No, what I'm saying is, what you are saying, you are equating the two people as visionaries. Mm -hmm. You are saying that, I mean, like, the Fort Laker mo Monument, is a, it is a historical monument. And yes, let us, we can go there and see what it, what, what it once stood for. But what you are saying here is that we, here are these two South African visionaries, they must sit here next, they must stand here next to each other and, and converse. I'm sorry, Mr. Makanya, but I have to say you're picking and choosing your facts because what's happened is that you have, for example, the Mandela Rhodes Foundation, which gives uh, scholarships to bright young South Africans to universities all over Africa and the world. And, uh, you know, it's the same kind of trying the, for the moral equivalent. Yeah, I think actually, I mean, I think a lot of people in South Africa and people within, and people who were close to Nelson Mandela actually found it quite offensive that, he, that even he could lend his name to the, Nelson, to the Mandela Rhodes Foundation and actually equate himself to, to Rhodes. I'm not greater than Mandela. Mandela may, w w was a much greater man. But basically, that walking past that building, saying Mandela Rhodes building in Cape Town, it irks me deeply. Um, I think here yeah, we, we, we need to understand something here. Um, there was pain in the past. Colonialism was a very painful thing. Mm -hmm. Black people were brutalized, they were hurt, they were, they, there, was, they, there was a virtual genocide that happened in, in, uh, that, that, that happened in, in Southern Africa. And to minimize um, Rose's actions by actually saying, no, 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 he did this, but he, but he also did that, I think it fails to actually get to the bottom of what black people went through and the evil that black people actually suffered here. And that is why you had the kind of angry reaction by the students, which was wrong, by the way. I mean, like, throwing poor things at public institutions, I mean, it's not the right thing. L but I think it speaks to the pain that people actually... Let me bring Wilma James. Do you want to respond to that? And I want you to speak specifically to the 
to the argument that this isn't just about the statue and its symbolism. It's about the fact that you see the statue and you see the lack of transformation at the institution where you were the dean of humanities and people say this isn't really just about the statue, it's a representation of the fact that things have not changed and continue to not be changing at UCT and other institutions. Look, I think that uh, the students have a, have a point about a historical figure like Cecil John Rhodes and I think uh, the good thing that has happened is that uh, the point has been made and the point has been forcefully made. Uh, the second thing is that the University of Cape Town has to do some very serious introspection about the pace at which change is taking place. I, I mean, I think that's quite right. And to the extent that student pressure would help uh, to accelerate change at the institution, so that becomes a genuine home for all, and it represents the wishes and dreams of all South Africans, I think that's quite right. The question is, what is the larger project? We are part of a larger nation and we have a larger project and that project is to build a democracy. It is to build an inclusive nation and therefore we come from a divided past and yes, we have a villain like Cecil John Rhodes to cope with uh, in, as part of that history, so we recognize that. But to the extent that there's an expression of heritage, we must take all the assets we have and, and repurpose them towards the future. But that's to Monty's Mandela point, Wilma James, is it the true Rose that Foundation when you was say you're essentially saying to the victims of apartheid, to the many people and those students who feel the pain of walking past the statue every day, that, oh, forget about that, the, you know, for the sake of this project, which you admit is stalling, actually uh, th that's meaningless to them when they see in their daily lives that things are not changing. Uh, as, as they are told they are changing. And that statue is a symbol of that. You can't erase the pain by dismantling the statue. What you have to do is recognize it and build on it and build resolve for change. And the resolve has to be delivered by the university. So there has to be tangible changes in terms of how the university envisions the future and the place of all students and black students uh, in particular given the history in that calculus. So I think it would be meaningless if the university itself doesn't change in a way mm -hmm. that is meaningful for the students who have raised this point. Okay. I mean, I recognize it entirely, but I do want to okay. say, as a final point uh, on the score, that Nelson Mandela and Susan John Rhodes are not moral equivalents by any means. But Nelson Mandela agreed to have his name used in a very constructive manner uh, in the Mandela Rhodes Foundation to create a, a, an asset base to educate and train South Africans um, at universities in Africa, and that's a major contribution that's been made. You. And that's Thank the you, kind of James. I'm going to bring Monty Makanya in yeah. here. Monty Makanya, you have 20 seconds. We've run out of time. Tell me this. What is the future of race relations in South Africa, given this, these upheavals that you see, for example, at UCT? Are we getting worse? Uh, is the project on track? Uh, tell me what we look like. In I but think yeah. I would say 21 years down the line, we are looking very bad. The Gulf is growing. And I think the primary thing is exactly this, that basically white people actually do not recognize the pain that black people went through in the past. They do, they do not recognize the change that needs to happen. They, no, they do not recognize that they are actually, they need to reach out, that forgiveness happened. But forgiveness has to actually come from something. There has to be a contribution from, the, from our oppressors to say, look, we are going forward, but instead what black people are feeling is continued racism and, re and a refusal to accept that there has to be a real transformation in the society. Manji Makanya, thanks so much for your mm. time. Wilma James in Cape Town, thanks so much for your time. I'm sorry we didn't have to get a chance to give you a last uh, 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 comment there. After the break, our winner and loser of the week. Stay with us. <laughs>